Ah, the awesome sink. It's a nice building. It does awesome stuff like give you tickets. Tickets to glorious victory and decorations. You know, buildings and walls and windows. You know, all the good stuff. But there is a slight problem with this. Is that most of the time if you want to go and uh, pump anything into there, you just got to pump directly into there with a box. You know, dump your stuff in there with the box. Or resort to just sending your products directly to there because because well the uh, coffee stain studio devs too busy trolling us on social media they're not interested in giving us stuff important stuff like uh overflow splitters and uh drag building things you know like foundations and walls and buildings and you know handheld thermonuclear weapons to use against spider cats in caves you know all the important stuff but for us geniuses certainly not me someone else came up with this stuff I'm not a genius, I'm just giving you the video. <laughs> but for geniuses on Reddit, well, you have overflow splitters, kinda. Uh, this is a recent one that I found on Reddit today. It is, well, I thought it was working, but every attempt after my first attempt to get working has it um, kind of working. Perhaps one in every, I don't know, 50 products will flow through the uh, overflow section. I can't figure out why, oh, it has uh, part A anyway, part B is a different layout, same problem, one in every 50 items or so, it's really weird. And then here's like an older setup that other people have come up with, you know, uh, this one's just a whole bunch of normal splitters and mergers. The difference between these two is, well, this one uses a smart splitter, you know, and that one uses a smart splitter, whereas that one's just plain old boring vanilla splitters and mergers. So, how do you build these things? How do they work? Well, the building thing is easy. Here's the layout. <laughs> You're getting building it. <laughs> yes, here's the layout. Get and build it. Oh my god, I can't even jump right. Here's the layout. Get and build it. I'll put it on the screen now. The, uh, online screen, that is, you know, what you guys are looking at. What, what, what will lag? <laughs> what you guys are looking at, because, well, there's pictures on Reddit, and you guys can see the pictures as I put them on here. Of course, I'll, you know, show you the layout over here too, because why not? You guys gotta show a, a an actual place down, along with the cool, uh, diagram-y, image-y thing, image -y <laughs> Oi, get back in your cage! What are you doing over there? We have an escaped convict on the run. It won't escape far. Anyway! All silliness aside, how do these things work after you've constructed them? Well, the trick to these things is once you've got your uh, first splitter down, and your merger, your smart splitter, and your merger, the uh, components flow from, well, your original production, whatever you're doing, whether it's, I don't know, turbo motors? Because everyone loves turbo motors, they produce tons and tons of spare points. Except, you know, they're also extremely slow. And, you know, you got to use them for other stuff. So, you know, having them on overflow is a good idea. But, you know, is that way you can use them when you want to use them. And not consume them all at once! Okay, so they come out here. And then they flow into here. Great, right? Wait. No, this is a splitter. <laughs> they flow that way, and they flow that way. <laughs> <laughs> and then they flow that way because that's a merger and they flow that way but they flow that way and then they get gummed up in this system because right here is slower than here so uh you've got yourself a spare side product uh as you can see i've currently got it set to wire the trick to this is that this is slower than this it causes a a minor blockage in here this blockage prevents it from flowing at a normal rate, allowing the splitter to do its job, if you know what I mean, the smart splitter. The problem is, like I said, sometimes products still get through, and uh, no amount of experimenting has gotten to stop. I've spent hours on this thing trying to figure out how to get it working. I've uh, reduced products, it still does it. I've added more products, it still does it. But you know, it. Obviously, it doesn't flow through all the time. It just occasionally flows through. And that's okay, you know. Having a splitter, your overflow splitter, is a good thing. 
It's definitely a good thing because once these overflows over here, then they flow out that way. And instead of having, well, a cargo crate on the end, you can have your awesome sink, right? It's the whole point of these overflow splitters, right? You want everything to flow into your awesome sink when you don't want them to flow in your awesome sink. No, wait, when you do want them to flow into your awesome sink. When you don't want them to flow into your awesome sink, you want them to go into your cargo. So, it had about, what, three, four by the time it finished flowing? Over here, it should be about the same. Same problem is that it occasionally dumps them through when it shouldn't. It's a similar setup. This one's a splitter to merger. And here's another merger to the smart splitter. One uh, outputs to the right. They cycle around, it slows down, it jams up. Oh wait, nothing's flowing in here this time. This one was the one that was more problematic for me. This one would have problems far more frequently than that one. But no, this one's being nice to me for a change. They obviously work. Both overflow splitters work great. They do their job, but they're also tamper metal in that they don't always work for me. And it, well, that's stopped, so I can't obviously show you that it's tamper metal, but you get the point, right? Same as that one. It's frustrating, annoying, but does work, it does do its job. This one on the other hand, this one works flawlessly, so long as you're willing to lose a product to the overflow every now and then. Uh, this one, if I remember correctly, was every couple hundred it will flow into there. Basically the way this one works is that it comes out of your input into there, you split it into splitter, and there it goes doot, 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 right? So every time one reaches there, it's got a chance there, 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 and they always cycle around each time. So by the time it reaches the second one, well, this one's one third of this one. And then this one is one third of this one, and so on and so on. But the side products always go into these mergers, and the mergers eventually combine all together into one full length chain. You know, one full strength chain, yes. Oh, I am way less informative about this than I was my coal and water production, wasn't I? <laughs> but yeah, you get the point, right? You put them in here. Get you in there. They all flow through nicely. You can put anything you want in there. It's not a spl smart splitter. Wait, no, that one. Also, you can put whatever you want in there too, so long as it's not the... Uh, couple wires which I've currently got flowing in there. You can technically put anything on there besides couple wires. There's that couple wires, there's a lot of them. It makes it super easy to stuff in the system, you know what I mean? As you can see, I've had one flow in there already. I was about to say it's due for another one. So plenty come through this way and at the moment we've only had two flow in here. So what? At the moment I got about one in every hundred. However, you can also, well, better your odds, you know, make it happen less often by basically extending this slightly further. It works, right? I'll uh, put a diagram for this one up on screen too. It's also very confusing until you actually place it down yourself or you take an extremely long look at the diagrams and it's like, wait, if this flows that way and that flows that way and that flows that way, then clearly this works. Or you could be lazy like me and take a huge chunk out of your uh, factory's floor and not even put it in very nicely. <laughs> and be very lazy like me. <laughs> so Satisfactory doesn't have overflow splitters. It should have overflow splitters, as well as handheld nuclear weapons. But you know, it should have overflow splitters. But uh, if you're ingenious enough, you can make do with what you have. You can make do with anything anything at all. If you enjoyed this, well, you know what to do. You hit that like and subscribe button or share it with your friends. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Ta-da! Bye for now. See ya! Bye! Should probably also take a drink too while I'm at it. Glug, 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 glug! <laughs>